I don't think this is going to happen. I'm going to have to abort. Abort, abort, abort mission. Hello everyone, and welcome to Living with a Hummer H1. Welcome to the Hummer H1. Listen to this. It sounds like an American school bus. What was that? I feel like I'm driving a cruise liner. Imagine being a driver and seeing this coming out of a side road. You'd think World War III had started. The Americans are invading. Hey, mum, I'm driving a Hummer. So first impressions, I feel completely invincible. I don't know why I'm bothering wearing a seatbelt. Good job I don't have airbags, they'd only uh, make this thing heavier. <laughs> yeah, it's like three tons. This is slowing the rotation of the earth. Oh, this is a bit of me here, boy. I'm driving my Hummer H1 in the United States of Kingdom. Move, move, move. Getting some funny looks already. Ooh. So the first port of call is filling up the tank because he empty. That's not the right key. Is this the right key? Bear with me, caller. Maybe it's open. No, it's definitely not open. No, that's definitely not fitting, is it? <gasps> I think we're in. Are we in? Uh, oh, it says fuel on it. I'm an idiot. Trust me when I say that this video is not sponsored by Shell. I wish it was because I think we're going to be here a while. And remember, this has got two tanks, the main and the auxiliary. They're both the same size. 116 pounds for half a tank in a Hummer. What is that noise? This is slow. Oh, literally driving a tank on the road. A car tank, a kank. The funny thing is as well, normally in a car, when I'm doing a piece to camera, I will look there. That is the rear view mirror. The camera is over there. This car is so wide, I don't even know where the camera is. Now we've actually got Arnold Schwarzenegger to thank for this car. The Humvee was only ever intended to be a military vehicle. Then Arnold Schwarzenegger saw one and said, I would like one of those on my driveway. Make it happen. Get in the Hummer now. There's no time. So in 2002, this was produced. A road going version of the most badass military vehicle in existence. So thanks, Arnie. You're the best. As a daily driver on the motorway, this is pretty good. The ride is very comfortable. It's nice and hushed. I can fall asleep and wake up at my destination. I probably have taken a few people out on the way, but that doesn't matter. It's all about me and my Humvee. Camera's there, not there. That way. Whoa. Visibility in this is actually pretty good. I've got big windows all round. Mirrors are massive. There's the camera. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. I miss you. I can usually touch you. <sighs> right, let me show you around the Hummer H1. Now, I am five foot seven. I've never said that on camera. Jack, shaking your head. Five seven. Ethan, why are you shaking? I'm five seven. Anyway, let me show you how wide this car is in comparison to a five seven man. Uh, there we go. 
There's just massive amounts of metal everywhere. This thing weighs well over three tons. I mean, just have a look at the springs. Let me come this way. Look at those. Those are springs. And interestingly as well, the, uh, the brake discs are inboard. So the brake discs themselves are over there somewhere. As for the wheel and tire setup, 40, 40 inch tires. Let us open up the back. You're going to expect a massive amount of space, aren't you? But no. To demonstrate, I'm going to take that. Jack, yeah. would you like to take a seat? Hold on, let me. Oh. Go what do you think, Jack? How, how you feel? Uh, yeah, you got a lot of space. Well, it's disappointing. It's Ooh. like an anti TARDIS. You can get underneath and you can have a proper look at round and almost do like proper push ups. It's so high, it's so tall. Oh, God, these stones. Oh, 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 oh. Let me open up the bonnoirs. There's a lever. You've got to pull that. And then there's a cool clip on this side. Everything is just so utilitarian. Got to unclip here at the front. Fold that down. Oh, there we go. And look at that. It's a 6.5 litre turbocharged diesel. The engine starts here and it ends like in the passenger compartment. That's why you have a table in between you and the passenger. The radiators are mounted really high, so you know you can wade, you know you can go off-road. So inside, there is a lot going on. You've got your automatic gearbox down here, you've got your high-low range, and you've got loads of cool kind of gauges here. You've got boost gauge, fuel, volts, trans temperature. It's very awesome. So what do you say? We crack on. <laughs> Right, now this wouldn't be a living with a Hummer video if we didn't do some off-roading with it. So we have taken the Hummer to a little off-roading green lane. Here we go. Yes. Oh, just eating it. Nom, 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 nom. Ground clearance of a house. Ground clearance of a house? That doesn't make sense because they're on the ground. Oh, this is completely unfazed, isn't it? Oh, hello. Whee! There we go! Yeah, I like me this. This is off-roading done right, where you can guarantee you're not going to get stuck. This is easy. Get out of my way. Nature is no match for the Hummer. Completely redefines what I know as a four-wheel drive or as an off-roader. What is there that you cannot do with a Hummer? Now we need to establish how good is this as a city car? They look really, really unimpressed. I must say, I'm quite used to the size of this already. When I first got in, brakes! When I first got in, I was a little bit nervous, but now I'm all right with it. What do you think? Lovely. Yeah? <laughs> it would be good on your building site. You could knock down houses and everything. Yeah. <laughs> all right, turning right. I'm going to go right. Wow, I didn't even have to fight for that. Just blocking two lanes, don't matter. Whatever. Cute van, mate. Excuse me. Got to ride the curb a little bit there, I'm afraid. Didn't run over a child there, did I? Oh, this is interesting. How's this going to work? Stuck there, I've got to definitely mount the curb. <laughs> there we go, that's how you do it. Got to mount things. There's lots of bollards in the road. I just want to run them all down. Oh, oh, there's a bin. That's, that's going to be interesting. There's a bin there. So, oh, thanks, mate. Oh, well, how was that for timing? A bin got moved. A bin got moved. This guy's a hero. I like him. Thank you, mate. Like yeah? yeah Cheers, lad. Not even going to bother slowing down. I'm just going to go for it. 
There we go. Sorry, I just damaged your child's hearing. I'm gonna go that way. Thanks, mate. What's not to like about the Hummer H1? Oh, wise move. <laughs> Another great sign of a good daily driver is that you can get food on the go. So I am off to a McBurger drive through King to get a burger McChicken meal. Sorry, can you repeat that? Hello, could I please have a crispy chicken meal? Could I have uh, an Oreo milkshake? Oreo, please. Else, Sorry? Else, no, that's it, thank you. Okay, do I go now? Okay, thank you, bye bye. Have an enchanting day. Hello? I have an idea. Let's get that out. Can we get the ladder out? and then we can push it over. Bear with me. One second. Oh, I'm getting cramped. Pass it over onto my ladder, then I can take it in. Am I paying with the thing? Yeah, if you put that on there. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Then I can't pay. Yeah. Got to move back a little bit, put that up. Move over. Oh, this is tiring. Oh, I need, I need my card. I need my card. Sorry. Right, I'm going to Superman the shit out of this. Huh. Yes. Yes. Card inserted too early. Oh, yeah. Oh. I need to... You have to lean in. We're nearly there. Has someone got longer arms? Yes, you're a hero. You're a modern day hero. Oh, oh, yes, thank you. Oh God. Thank you very much. That was very stressful. On a scale of one to 10, how was that for you? Quite good? Good, that's the first time a girl's ever said that to me. Thank you very much. Bye bye. There you go, it can be done. Simple as that. That was easy. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Living with a Hummer. We've got more episodes like this coming, so make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking this link. You can see more videos over here, and don't forget to check out the car throttle shop down there, right? I'll see you next time. Uh, it was actually quite high. Ladder? Wonderful. Doodle pip. <laughs>